Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 20th of March, Saturday of the week of Lent 4. It's important for this one to hear the dates. 1651 to 1715. You and I have the tendency to believe that only now have we gotten rushed and hassled and all those things. Uh, 1651, 1715. Francois de S-A-L-I-G-N-A-C, Fenlon, F-E-N-E-L-O-N. Listen to his words from, oh, let me say it a third time, 1651. 1715. When we notice in ourselves eager desires for something in the future, and when we see that our temperament carries us too intensely to all that must be done, let us try to restrain ourselves from hurry and ask our Lord to stop the haste in our hearts and the agitation in our behavior, since God has said himself that his spirit does not dwell in confusion. Let us take care not to participate too much in all that is said and done and not to absorb too much of it because this is a great source of distraction when we have seen what God asks of us in each task that presents itself, let us keep to that and separate from all the rest. Thus, we shall always keep the depths of our souls free and balanced, and we shall cut off entirely the host of unnecessary things which burden our hearts and which prevent them from turning easily toward God. We must often raise the heart toward God. He will purify it, enlighten it, direct it. This was the daily practice of the holy prophet David. I had always, he said, the Lord before my eyes. Let us often say these beautiful words of David, whom shall I seek in heaven and on earth, save thee, O my God? Thou art the God of my heart and my portion forever. The prayer from the Sarum, S-A-R-U-M, Breviary, 11th century. We beseech thee, O Lord, let our hearts be graciously enlightened by thy holy radiance that we may serve thee without fear in holiness and righteousness all the days of our life, so we may escape the darkness of the world and by thy guidance attain the land of eternal brightness. Through thy mercy, O blessed Lord, who dost live and govern all things, world without end. Amen.